Today we'll talk about the ischial tuberosity and muscle attached on the ischial tuberosity. As you can see that this is the right side of the hip bone and what the important thing which you have to keep in mind that ischial tuberosity actually narrow down when you will go from above downward and this ischial tuberosity is divided into the two half vertically this is the outer half and this is the inner half and then it will divide into the upper and lower part that this is the ischial tuberosity which is narrow down so when you will see the enlarged view of this ischial tuberosity it is divided into the four part where you can see that this is the lateral area and this is the medial area the upper part is giving origin to the semi membranosus in the lateral part and in the lateral part below you will have the origin of adductor magnus on the inner side this upper part is giving origin to the semi tendinosus and the long end of the biceps but this lower and inner segment is covered by the fibro fatty tissue there is no muscle 